Hi everyone, it's Muriel. Welcome back to my channel. I've been kind of MIA for a minute. Um, just wanted to come on real quick and just um, show you a few things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I kind of showed on my Instagram, Hobby Lobby and their prices. Yeah, someone, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll show you that and then I wanted to show you a couple of things that I'm working on. I have finished my Halloween. I need to make a birthday card with a little Halloween twist to it for a um, old boss, and I'll get that done. Um, this weekend, I am going to be going to my friend's, um, her sister has a, a wedding venue hall that's not being uh, used Sunday, so we're going to uh, work on cricket projects, and I have one in mind for my uh, family member for Christmas, so we're going to work on that. We'll be there about six hours if... Um, Time permits, I'm going to um, make some ornaments. No, some snowflakes. Some snow yeah, some snowflakes from uh, the Cricut um, design, design space that I saw. So that's going to be fun. Um, the crop we were going to do in November has been canceled. But then there still is the January one. So really excited about that. Um, I am, like I said, doing a few Christmas shopping uh, for my sister. My sister, you know, is uh, new to paper crafting, about two months new. She has an Instagram channel. It's called Crafting After 60. <laughs> and and um, she posts every tag that she makes, every card that she makes. I have to show her how to make them into like a folder. Um, because it's like one video after another video. One picture after another picture after another picture. So... But anyway, um, she's going to have knee surgery, you guys, on the 26th. So she's going to be not able to go out and about, right? Get that Christmas shopping done. So I picked up a few things for her. And I know she's not going to watch my channel because I have to tell her, go to my video. So she never does. So anyway, um, she asked me the other day about how to make these. <laughs> so um, I said, you have to have the punch. So she went to Hobby Lobby and she bought something totally different. So no worries. I went ahead and got this one for her. She's also at a loss for finding the iris cases. And I picked this one up here at Hobby Lobby. I picked up three of them. They're only $3.99. I never knew they were this inexpensive. I have a ton, but I can't part with mine because they're all, they're used. So I did pick up three of those for her. So as soon as we have... Um, holiday mail at my job. I will be throwing all of this stuff in a box. I have a box downstairs now that I'm um, starting for her. Um, I also picked her up five of these from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to get them while they're still a dollar, right? I understand they're going to go up to a dollar twenty-five, maybe a dollar fifty. I don't know when. So I'm jumping on these. Plus she wanted to make some bows and when we make those holiday bows, we use these on the bottoms of them. So you can go through these really quick if you make as many bows as I do. And um, so leading into what I bought at Hobby Lobby, I got me some green textured paper for some Christmas trees. And I know I showed you guys this die that I picked up a week ago. It is the uh, red car so cute and I said then that I wanted to use a different tree but when I went to Hobby Lobby the dyes were 50% off so hey I went ahead and got the trees let me just unstick it here okay so I got the trees so that's the dyes for the trees and they look like that so I'll go ahead and just replica this card uh, duplicate this card and do it in a slimline um style now i don't care for the bow on top of the card so i did i cut out three uh this weekend and i uh, did one with the bow on top i'm just gonna show you here all right so that looks like that and that's okay maybe the paper color that i use for the bow i am just not impressed with that so then i thought how about presents on top of the tree that's usually um what i like so i had these puffy stickers and it's just sticking all over the place. So this one looks like this, right? But of course, I need maybe a different color puffy sticker because the red is just blending with the red. But you get the idea. 
And then I thought, how about what I always see? And that is a tree on top of the car. Goodness. So, but I bet you never see a decorated tree on top of the car. <laughs> Look at that. That tree is decorated. So, um, I'm going to be playing with that. I kind of like that idea, but, you know, I, you know, I don't think you have decorated trees on top of the car unless they are ready to go to the Salvation Army. So, that's what I've been playing with. So, I'm going to be starting uh, my other batch of holiday cards. They're going to be slimline. So, let's put these over here. So, we got my paper, my die from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this one here. I went ahead and cracked down. There was a lot of Sizzik dies at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Tim Holtz dies were off the beacon path at $32, $27. I just didn't feel like that. So I stuck with something that's more um, up my alley, $10. And this one is the gingerbread house. Um, this is going to be fun to uh, play with. I've already got some inspiration for it. It's definitely going to be cards. Um, I'm not big on gingers, gingerbreads and all that stuff, but I'm going to challenge myself. Because that just looks really yummy. Home for Christmas. And I did see Jen. How are you, Jen? I saw Jen make a card with it. Beautiful. Because I love the paper pad you got. So I'm going to make mine probably a little more traditional with that Christmassy color. I'm going to have fun with that. It's a nice size. It's probably three inches or two and a half. So it's just not too big. And from Hobby Lobby, I got... Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know what took me so long. I got these. Um, I saw these on Lisey 46 channel, Elise. And she had them at her desk. You know, if you watch her channel, she keeps dies on her desk on the ready. And she had these two there. And first of all, I thought, oh my gosh, she got two. Um, maybe two of the same. But when I went, I picked up two with a different font. And these were $3.99 each. So I was happy about that. Now I don't have to uh, find my to and from. I can just use these and I'm just going to keep them right on the desk just like you do, Elise. Um, I think that's all from... Oh, one more thing. I showed this on my uh, Instagram how they had two of these foam adhesive sheets and um, the reason why I got them because this foam is really stiff. Uh, this foam is, foam is not going to... Um, once you put it through your dye machine, it's not going to like stay squished. It's really firm. Um, and it was $7.99, but when I went to grab the other one, it was $10.99. So someone said, oh, maybe that's the old price, the new price. And then someone said, I would have ripped off that $10.99 <laughs> and just went up there with these two. Um, <laughs> I, was just, I didn't think that fast. I was at lunchtime. I'm, I'm not a devious thinker when I'm at lunch. If I had gone on Saturday morning, absolutely, I would have ripped off that sticker and I would have took these up to the counter and that would have been that. Um, and I didn't want to take both because, you know, sometimes you don't know Hobby Lobby will stand firm. They'll say, yes, this is the old one. Those are the new ones and we're not changing that new sticker. So I didn't feel like... Going back to work all teed off. So anyway, so I got these. I'm going to be doing more shakers. So excited about that. And then, um, bloop, 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 bloop. I think that's it. So then I went over to Dollar Tree. I'm still trying to stay, you know, with the Christmas stuff. It's it's stream, streaming in. So I did pick up two of these. Uh, these were the only two that I really liked. These um, nice box gift boxes this one is seven inches long and this one is six and i just love this look um with some beautiful tissue paper you can put your um, goodies in there it's so sturdy it'll be good for packing in a box it won't get all smushed up so i got that again i got um five of these and i got some fall ribbon i have some thanksgiving cards i need to start working on so I, if i need some ribbon on the cards i thought these two were pretty um, fall light. And I got some more foam sheets. I thought I got these for my sister as well. Because I sent her one that I picked up at Michael's that was all beat up. So it was in the clearance. It was a big pack, big pack for like $5. And everything she made, she cut it out with foam. And I thought, you know, make sure you save some to heighten the embellishments right to put it behind something to raise it up 
So I don't know how much she has left, but I thought I would throw that in the box too. Um, I found pom-pom trim. I haven't seen the white. I haven't seen the red. I just got this one and one other. So I just got the two that I saw. I started to leave it in hopes that there was someone else coming in there like me. But I thought, mm, no. So I got that. I'll send the other one to my sister. And then I did get her some glue and residue eraser. I was trying to explain this to her. Um, what it is and um, finally she um, I had a, a need to use it so I showed her how it's used so that will definitely be going in her box as well and then finally oh and I scored on some more of the um, I call it popcorn tool someone call it snowball tool so um, I scored on some more of these again. If they go up, I don't want to pay $1.50 for it. So I bought five more. I'm going to send her some. And then the fall colors were there. I had picked up these two a while ago. I, and I looked and looked and looked. I didn't realize I didn't have this brown. So I got the brown too. So happy about those. And then the last thing I did, I just was playing around. I picked up a craft bottle uh, from uh, Dollar Tree. One of those plastic ones. And I picked up this rub-on transfer sticker. I wanted to see how this, those two would work. And it came out perfect. So this is the little plastic um, bottle. And then I just put the rub-on on here. I can't see it. Looks really cool. So I thought this would be a really cute uh, Happy Mail um, to send to someone. I don't know what you can put in there. But I'm sure sequins or small rosettes flowers anything but i thought that was really cute just to kind of dress it up some or you can put this on here and just leave it in your own craft room right and you can put like little pumpkins in it so that's what i've been doing you guys uh, my daughter just ran to the store to get some more cucumbers so we can have our mediterranean salad and i am going to work on creating my slimline card and um, I mailed out some packages yesterday. I mailed out three. I have three more to mail tomorrow. And then everyone should have their um, Halloween treats from me. And then one more thing. I got a, um, you know, at work when they send gratuities to someone, um, it comes across my desk. And I take it to our donation room. But before I do that, I take the box. And I take what's inside the box with the shred. So I scored on all this nice uh white shred definitely in time for um christmas so i was happy about that so thanks for watching everyone and oh you can see how i got a new craft mat i picked this up at walmart this weekend it was only 28 dollars, and it is yeah 36 by 24 so it takes up my whole table so really nice and new so thank you guys for watching have a good day we'll talk soon bye now